Easily. Where we are live at 835. I'm Michael. And I'm Brody. We'll be your host today. Today is Friday, March 29th. Please stand for the pledge. I, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please pause for the moment of silence. Remember to support Joy and bring her the supplies for the animal shelter. This is the last day for that. For lunch today, you have the hamburger on a Gina grown bun or a hot dog with chili. Remember, we also have some sandwiches and yogurt plate. Cherry Campaign Song Club we met yesterday. And today is Friday, which means it's Atlanta Braves Day. So make sure you wear your Braves gear. So, how do you find Will Smith in the snow? I don't know how. You look for fresh prints. Yes. <laughs> well, what car does Meg drive? I don't know what. A Yolks wagon. <laughs> That's funny. It's time for today's Did You Know Moment. All of this week's Did You Know Moment have been about presidents. So, did you know that Andrew Johnson was the only self-educated tailor? He is the only president to make his own clothes and those of his cabinet. If you're interested in taking part with your own Teasley News crew, go check your campus announcement for the link regarding sign-ups for next year. The deadline is April 12th. You have two weeks. And today is March 29th. And here's our Today in History. March 29th, 845. Paris is sacked by Viking raiders, probably led by Rangar Lodbrock, who collects a huge ransom in exchange for leaving. 1638, the first permanent white settlement in Delaware is established by Swedish Lutherans. 1795, Ludwig van Beethoven, at the age of 24, has his debut performance as a pianist in Vienna. 1806, Construction is authorized on the Grand National Pike, better known as the Cumberland Road, becoming the first United States Federal Highway. 1827, 20,000 people attend Ludwig van Beethoven's burial in Vienna. 1848, Niagara Falls stops flowing for 30 hours due to an ice jam in the river upstream. 1852, Ohio makes it illegal for children under 18 and for women to work more than 10 hours a day. 1867, U.S. Congress first approves building of the Lincoln Memorial. 1932, comedian Jack Benny debuts on Ed Sullivan's New York radio interview program. 1951, Rodgers and Hammerstein's musical The King and I based on the novel Anna and the King of Siam opens at St. James Theater in New York City. The play would run for 1,246 performances. It would win five Tony Awards. The star Yul Brenner would lead the cast of the 1956 film version and play the role over 4,200 times. 1973 U.S. troops leave Vietnam nine years after the Tonkin Resolution. 1974, Chinese farmers discover the Terracotta Army near Zion. 8,000 clay warrior statues buried to guard the tomb of China's first emperor, Quen Shi Huang. 1978, variety TV show The Carol Burnett Show airs its last episode on CBS. It won 25 Emmy Awards. 
1989, the first U.S. private commercial rocket makes a suborbital test flight at White Sands Missile Range in New Mexico. These are just a few of the things that have happened today, March 29th in history. This has been Mr. Scott with Today in History. Thanks for watching. You're always better. Your behavior matters. Be kind. We're all in this together. Stay united. Or stay united. And we'll, we'll see you after break. break.